All right, today we're starting really a series of videos that I'm planning to do on how to build a project, how to build a miniature structure. And I want to take you through the steps that I take when I'm building, whether it's a dollhouse or a room box or this is a small building. There's one thing I always do. I always buy a three ring binder and some dividers. And I also put a manila envelope in there. I'll show you why in a minute. This is so important because it helps me to plan, it helps me to record everything that goes in this house. And I know we could do it on the computer, but this physical representation, you'll see as we go through the house, through the building, we're going to add stuff to this that we couldn't save on the computer, like samples of paint, samples of flooring. For my dollhouses, I have samples of all the fabrics and all the wallpapers. So that, it gives a physical place. I even do this if I'm selling a dollhouse or donating it to a cause, because then the owner knows exactly what's in their dollhouse and how it was made. So the first thing I do when I get the kit is I open it up and I look for the instructions. You should always find your instructions in there. And if it's like this one, this is a, what's called a tab and slot house. It's made of thin plywood. This, this has been laser cut. Usually, these kits, in addition to the instructions in this little pouch, there will be plastic for the windows. The first thing I do before I can lose them is I put that into this manila envelope. Now I know where they are. I one time I when I built my Brookfield, which was the first kit that had this kind of windows with it that I made. I actually lost the sheet of plastic for the windows and had to go buy other plastic. Of course, about two or three weeks after I finished putting the windows in, I found the original sheet. So just put the plastic away where you can find it. Then we find the instructions. We're going to put these also in this notebook, but for right now, I need to use them. I go through and I find there will either be a list of what's in your kit, or if it's like these, the tab and slot, there will be a schematic of what's on every sheet of plywood in here. And we need to go through, and we need to make sure that we've got all these pieces. And you'll notice pieces are already coming out. It happens. So this one is, let's see if I can figure out, this is this piece. This is the back roof piece. And we've got window trim, and we've got trim. Okay, so this is this piece. So I'm going to make a little check mark. Now I know that I found that piece. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Put on the chair behind me. This piece. You now this is the front roof. I can tell by looking. Front roof. Okay, I'm going to check that off. I'm going to get my notebook out of my way too. This first, we do this right away so that if we don't have something, we can get a hold of the manufacturer and say, hey, you didn't send me such and such thing. Okay, second floor and first floor. We found all the big, all those little pieces. Now, and this comes with a piece of sandpaper. I'll put that with my notebook. Now, this one has stuff already falling out of it. So we need to be really careful because I really don't want to lose any of these pieces. I'm going to try to fit them back in. Okay. If at all possible, for the next step, we want to keep these pieces as much as possible in intact. Okay, so this is this piece. This is this big one. It looks like everything is here that needs to be here. We just need to be really careful. And under here we have one more piece of plywood. This one's falling apart. This one's losing some pieces. That's okay. I just don't want to lose track of them, so I'm going to very carefully put them over here. Put all these pieces with it. Okay. 
And this is the other piece. And yep, all the pieces are here. So now I know I've got everything. Now my next step, I actually like to prime these while they're still in the sheet. That's why I'm really hoping that those will stay put. So I'm going to go prime these and then I'll be back. All right, I'm ready to prime the last piece. So I thought I'd show you what I do. It's pretty simple. I actually use the white pigmented uh, primer from Kills. It, um, it works really well for doing this kind of work and it dries really fast. So this will be ready to work with our next step in just a little bit. So you want, now since I'm painting the entire painting or otherwise covering all the wood on this structure, I'm not staining anything. So if I was staining a piece, I would have to have marked that and made sure that I didn't prime those pieces. You notice I've got a glove on one hand. That's so that I don't get the primer all over my hands. Then I just have the brush to clean and not me to clean. So I'm just clean up. It doesn't have to be neat because this isn't going to show. The main reason we are doing this is so that this wood doesn't warp because it's so thin that if we didn't prime it and seal it, when we went to wallpaper or paint or any of the other fun techniques I'm going to show you in this project, the, the wood would warp. And with the die cut kits, because some of the pieces are so small, it's just so much easier to do it before you punch them out. Now, yeah, this piece is just about done. See, it's not a neat job. It's pretty messy. My daughter's boyfriend, the painter, would probably really make fun of me if he saw this because he'd say, I'm, it's really messy. But that's okay. We won't let the pros look. But this is how I do the first step. I need to clean my brush and let these dry. And when they're dry, I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now all of the pieces have been primed and they've had a chance to dry. This primer only really needs to dry for about an hour. So now we need to label everything. And to do that, we're going to use a pencil. Never use a pen of any kind because that will bleed through whatever finish you might want to put on later. So I look at my schem schematic. And now this is the first floor. So I'm going to write a little note. All right, now it says that it's the first floor. Now I know that. And there's still some wet spots, but that's okay. Now, let's see, where's another piece? This, according to the directions, is my front roof. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to mark all the rest of these. Right, this is the last sheet of stuff to mark. I've marked most of it. Now this one, almost everything fell out, so I'm having more problems. So I will go through. I have to go through now and figure out which pieces are which, and then I'll just throw them in my container with the rest of my pieces. But I'm trying to mark everything on the back side. If you can, if you can keep the stuff in the sheets of plywood until you use them, it is so much easier to find things. But there's going to be things that fall out. And that's okay. Just be sure you mark them before you forget what they are. Next video, we'll start putting this together. I'll talk to you later. Bye.